Hello, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Masterpiece, and today we're going to read a novel from Penelope Quill. She's the great, 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 awesome, wonderful, fantastic grandmother of Paige Turner of paperback fame. And now we're going to look inside her newest hardback. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but anyway, we are going to crack open the newly released Kickstarter um, from uh, Tim Fowers, uh, his company, um, Fowers Games, obviously, that makes sense. Uh, paperback, you are playing Penelope Quill, an aspiring 19th century author working to write your next masterpiece. You'll earn money and prestige along the way, which you can spend on new, more powerful cards to improve your deck. Uh, I had paperback, uh, Kickstarter that, uh, and it was fun. Uh, for Solo, it was pretty good. Um, uh, a lot of shuffling, but it was a good deck, a good introduction, uh, not introduction, a good, uh, hybrid of a deck builder and a, um, uh, word game, and it was very fun, but it probably been better multiple players. I wish I'd kept it now since I'm kind of playing a little more with my family. So, uh, anyway, we'll see what's inside a hardback. Uh, apparently the solo cooperative mode is, um, is much improved, so we will... Not see that in this video. We'll do a playthrough video later, but uh, it's a very nice box. It's a little wider, I think, I believe, than the other boxes, but in the in the normal Fowers Games compact uh, style. So let's rip into the shrinkage here. Boxes, uh, as always, uh, well produced. Uh, it's got a linen linen finish to it. All right, and you can sneak it on your shelf there and make it look like, like it's real books. Isn't that cool? All right. No, no, I don't have another game. It's books. All right, so here we go. Everything's neatly stacked. Ooh, we have a board. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to start with what we get here. We get some black and white. I'm going to quill there that's probably the start player token uh, you got these black and white ink pot I would say meeples that you would normally dip the quill in all right so you got black ones you got white ones and they look they look like ink pots all right so you get a bag full of those okay. and we've got the wonderful foam spacers which help hold everything together oh there's something in between the foam spacers what do we got here let's be your player markers there's five is this a five player game this is a two to five player game ah uh, two to five but i thought they were solo I, I think maybe it's the cooperative mode that it has so they're hard and they have backs so they're like little hard backs now i can see somebody's going to make labels to go on those, you know, to kind of make them cool. All right, so there's five of those. Red, blue, yellow, green, and poiple. Poiple, certainly. All right, it's like, a, it's like the old Easter baskets you used to get from the drugstore where it's like, um, you, you know, you get all your candy that's taped to the grass and you try to pull the grass out and there's paper under there and you think maybe there's something hidden. And nope, 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 this is like, keeps producing so let's pull this out and take our foam make sure there's nothing else nope nope no jelly beans all right so we will dig through here the cards got four decks o cards seems to have a lot more cards i believe than paperback had all right so we have a rule book oh look at that <laughs> They included stickers to go on the meeples, on the books. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, nobody has to make them because Fowers already included them. Excellent job. Kind of like they did for Burgle Bros. They had the stickers that went on the little meeples. All right, so we've got a rule book. The thin, you know, box size rule book that they're known for. All right, so the black ones are called ink tokens, the white ones are called remover tokens, and then you have the offer deck, which are these cards. 
and then that's how you set up but this is telling you what the things are so there's starting cards literary award cards player cards player power cards penny dreadful cards ink tokens remover tokens player tokens prestige tracker board adventure cards horror cards mystery cards romance cards advert cards because you gotta have advertisements event cards card dividers and rule book Hardback is a deck-building word game. As an aspiring 19th century novelist, you work to pen your next masterpiece, earning prestige along the way. You start with your own personal deck of cards, using them to acquire new cards, deck builder, and reshuffle your deck throughout the game. Specialize your deck in certain genres to exploit card combinations and press your luck to draw extra cards, but make sure you can still string a word together. You're paid by the word, so you're, so you're like Dickens. Which is why some of his books were long, is because he was paid by the word. All right, so it's full color. Looks like it's going to have, it's got a lot more detail, it looks like, which is awesome. It's got large versions of the, uh, of the stickers, so you can see the artwork, which is very nice. The typical Fowers style, uh, it's Ryan, uh, sorry, Ryan, Ryan Goldsberry. And it was Ryan Gold something, and I couldn't remember the rest of it, so good job. Beautiful arts. Okay, so you get a rule book. It's probably going on longer than it needs to. And then we've got player boards, which are color coded to match the player pawns, the player meeples. Very nice, feels like thick cardstock, thick glossy cardstock. Penelope Quill, Little Watson, The Rhyme Machine, A Journey to the Center of the Earl. Oh, sounds like inner space. Ah, uh, the, the hatchback of, of Notre Dame. That's funny. Awesome. And Frankincense and Sensibility. I think I saw that movie. All right, so player boards. And then the Prestige Tracker Board. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Thick. Uh, Linen-backed. Glossy finish. Very nice. Not slick though. Eh, kind of slick. Alright, so now we're down to the cards. And let's open this little pack here first. Basically, just going to be able to see what they look like. It's going to be hard to tell what they do. Um, definitely a different style than. Uh, it's, it's still got Ryan's uh, artwork style, but the the uh, design, graphic design sense is definitely different. So we got gain two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to read the rules. Interesting, this one is sideways. Different powers, but I'm sure that means something. Although, maybe it means something. It's the only one like that. Arr. So, it's the only one in this this little deck that's like that. There may be others. Alright, so we get those cards. Open another pack here and see what we get. Alright, more letters. And they obviously have abilities. Oh, there's another sideways one. So that's going to be interesting. We'll find out what those are about. Because they're definitely distinct. A cover and adjacent wild card. Yeah, just, just looking at the uh, powers here on these cards, it... Uh, it is uh, definitely not paperback with a with a new theme. It seems to have a definite difference. So we got blue cards. Now we got some orange, orangey red cards. All right. I don't think there's cards for each player. Although there are some yellow cards coming up. Maybe there are card. Maybe there are decks for each player. Who knows? This is yellow and green. And some light blues. Again, don't know if that means anything. The backs are all the same. All right. So, again, more cards. I mean, there's only so much you can do with decorative letters, but they do look pretty. It's a nice style. Okay. And there are two more decks. All right, well, we'll go ahead and open this one since it says adverts, and that's obviously different. Take a peek at those real quick. Cards are standard quality. 
good cards. Um, slick, no, no linen, which is I like. Um, so the adverts appear to be rule summaries. Search by five. Ta-da! Okay. Oops. All right. And then we've got these ability cards. A natural creation, unsightly card, lyrical prestige, pint size proficiency, and deck exploration. Give you different abilities. Name a genre. Drawing cards from your deck until a card of that genre is drawn. Place an ink token on that card. Discard all other drawn cards. You got literary award points. These remind me of the cards in paperback. All right. Cool. And then Adventures in Peril, The Horrors of Fear, Mysterious Mystery, Romancing the Heart. Cool. Your word may not contain the letter E. Your word must contain the letter N. Your word must begin with a wild card. So that's kind of cool. It actually reminds me of a game I was working on where you had different different requirements for the words. Interesting. Genre abilities require three cards to trigger. That gives us a clue about the rules. Okay. okay. And then get this last section. Those are just some gray cards, so there is no gray player. So I'm assuming those are the starting cards, perhaps, or the ones you try to earn. Let's see if we can find a pattern. No, they're not all vowels. They're all letters. So anyway, if you ordered hardback, or if you pick up a copy of hardback from Fowers Games, or you get it uh, in a store, or a trade or whatever, what you're going to get is 4.2, yeah, we'll say 4.15 decks of cards. All right, you're going to get, ah, you're going to get book meeples. I'm not even going to get this back in the box yet. You're going to get a starting player quill, I assume. You're going to get ink pots and erasers, remover, stickers for your book meeples, a prestige tracking board. You're going to get five player cards. Nicely illustrated. Good job, Ryan Goldsberry. A rule book. And then well, let's, let's interrupt our box closing, our reboxing, to see what these are. These are dividers, obviously. These must be the three dividers. Yep. Offer cards, starting cards, and fan fiction. Uh, the miscellaneous cards, so these will go in your boxes of dividers. So. so that's everything you're going to get inside the mystery, romance, horror, love story of Penelope Quill, hardback, a game by Jeff Beck and Tim Fowers. And uh, I'm not sure I can get, even get it in the box. There's so much here. But uh, if you pick up a copy, that is what you're going to get. I'm not even going to try. Thanks for watching so much. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!